In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this creative low poly certificate design in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have put the title as certificate of appreciation, which is fully editable. You can replace the text with any of your text. And this particular image I have downloaded from the net. Uh, this is the low poly with uh, orange and the yellow color. And I've given some kind of a shadow effect. And here you can add the name, which is again uh, editable. And then you can add some detailed text here. And at the bottom, you can add the date and the signature and I've added one more star batch here kind of things. So and in the background, you can see here, I've just given some kind of a lines and I have made two more slides where I've just put a name and surname in the black. You can see here if it is white is not visible, you can use a black also. And I have made one more uh, slide where I've just given the blur effect. So depending on your requirement, you can choose whichever slide you need and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon as well as share and like my channel powerpoint university i have created a whatsapp group where you can find the latest updates so you can join us with the help of the link and the link is provided in the video description section also and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and i'm going to change the slide size to a4 size for that go to designs and here you can see the slide size click on that and select the custom slide size and from the drop down list you need to select a4 and the orientation should be landscape only and then click on ok it will ask two options you can choose any option then go to view tab enable the guides then go to insert shapes and select the rectangle draw the rectangle exactly in the center you can see here this much size could be shape outline make it no outline and align center align middle you can see here and then i'm going to edit this shape for that right mouse click edit points you can see here there are four points the top two and the bottom two i'm just going to select the right the top right one so again just click you can see here and then i'm just going to get this one just drag it down again click on this one so you don't need to click on the right mouse click just click it here and then just drag this down also so how much curve you need you can just decide how much curve you need so i'm going to keep this much curve and i'm not going to do the the bottom one so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to retain only this part you can see here the top right and the rest three parts i'm going to delete it so i'm going to use the merge shapes to do that one for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle and cover the rectangle only on the one part only you can see here something like this shape outline make it no outline maybe you can give some different color now i'm going to hold the shift key sorry first select this particular shape then hold the shift key and select this shape and under format go to merge shape and just you can see here you can click on intersect you can see here so you end up getting only this shape so i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate and at the other side i'm just going to rotate it flip horizontal you can see here and then i'm going to select both of this press ctrl d to duplicate you can see here and you can just rotate it flip vertical and then add it so you end up getting a shape something like this so i'm going to select all these four shapes go to format merge shapes and make it union and depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease the size and once this is over i'm going to use this low poly you can see here the background design this one i'm going to add on that for that right mouse click format shape go to fill click on picture or texture fill and click on insert and select the file which you have downloaded from the net any file so i have downloaded this particular image from the net so once you have added this uh, background design on this particular shape you can just arrange it either up or down depending on your requirement and then uh, under fill you go scroll it down and you can see you rotate with shapes when i just untick this one this can come down so it depends on your requirement and if you want to just do some more changes you can do with this offset left right top bottom also and then i'm just going to add some more uh, shapes here i'm going to 
duplicate this by pressing ctrl D you can see here I can just duplicate something like this and if you want you can just give some different color also here for example I'm just going to give a gradient fill you can see here and I'm going to use two stops only so one stop I'm going to select maybe some uh, a light color so I'm going to use the eyedropper you can see here some lighter color I'm just selecting and here somewhat darker color I'm selecting something like this you can see here and then you can change change the the pattern how you want that pattern some darker or lighter or whichever way you want and then this one you can just increase the transparency level a little bit something like this you can see here and then just put it on the top something like this and then go to format you can send this to back so it gives like this or if you want you can just keep it at top also then in that case if you're keeping on top then you have to make it more transparent you can see here it should be like this so more darker this side and here it is more transparent and this image also if you want you can just select the image one more image which i've added at the bottom this one so that image also you can go to format you can see artistic effects if you want to give some blur effect also you can give the blur effect so it's up to your requirement whichever way you want you can just choose the 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 effects and then you can add one more at the bottom also just i'm going to select this press ctrl d you can see here and then i'm going to change the direction maybe the orange should be more down you can see here something like this let me just select this and then i can put it like this or if you want more yellow i can just give more yellow also let me just move, remove it and then i'm going to change the direction see it's more yellow at the bottom and this one go to format and send to back so it gives you a effect something like this you can see here so again depending on your requirement which color you want you can just add it now once you have added all these things now it's time to add the text so to add the text go to insert text box and i'm going to type certificate here in caps hope the spelling is right center align and any good font of your choice you can choose i am selected the oswald if you don't have the oswald font you can choose any font or you can just download this font for free let me just increase the size from this side to this end make sure it is center align and you can give some a uh, loose here loose or very loose let me just give a uh, very loose here increase the size you can see here certificate i can give maybe 54 bring it somewhat top again don't make it top so that when you're printing that will get cut so you have to give some margins on 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 all the four sides then go to insert text box and i'm going to say certificate of appreciation again this also center align i'm going to do it from this end to this end so that we get a perfect center align century sorry oswald again if you want you can give a loose and then you can just bring it on top and if you want to change the color from black you can give some a dark gray also like this also it can be done and this design also let me just move it somewhat up something like this so this also i can just move it somewhat down so depending on your requirement you can just choose that one and then then you can add the name and the surname for the participant or the the you're going to give the award to go to insert again text box i'm going to type name and surname again this also center align and for this i'm going to choose the font hand of sean this is also you can download for free uh, you can go to any website and download this font and give this white color if it is white not visible maybe you can give it black also then let me just increase the size you can see here maybe 48 if the name is big in that case we need to just reduce the size and then go to insert shapes select the line again draw the line by holding the shift key you can see here you get a perfect shape a perfect straight line when holding the shift key and this one also if you want we can make it white or black depending on your requirement and i'm going to increase the weight of this something like this you can see here and make sure that it is properly aligned in the center 
and once this is done you can add some detailed text so go to insert text box equals lorem within bracket one so this is one some simple latin text i'm giving if you want you can make it center align also which whichever font you need black white or whatever you can just choose and again some good font i'm going to choose or if you want you can use the hand of sean also not a problem so like this you can add it let me just reduce the size further and then bottom you can add the date and signature go to insert text box and i'm going to type date you can see here again oswald give some gray color or like this reduce the size put it here again make sure that to give some gaps go to insert shapes select the line draw the line by holding the shift key again the same color you can give you can see here i'm going to select both of this press ctrl d to duplicate at the other side and here i'm going to say signature something like this so you can see here we have completed the most of the certificate design and one last thing which is pending you can go to insert shapes and you can scroll it down to stars and banners maybe you can choose this stars 24 points just drag it maybe this much size make sure that it is center aligned and you can see a small orange point just drag it outside you get a shape something like this shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give some dark color you can see here something like this then go to insert shapes i'm going to select the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key and again make sure it is properly center shape outline make it white shape fill make it no fill and again to make sure it's center select both the ones like center align middle and then you can add some text or i can add some star again here i'm going to set this five point star just hold the shift key draw the star if you want to add three stars also the smaller one you can add it shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it white you can see something like this and then go to insert shapes i'm going to select this chevron you can see the arrow make it something like this something maybe this much size increase the size shape outline make it no outline and you can give some black color and just rotate it something like this and press ctrl d rotate the other side you can see here uh, like this you can do it and select both of these and go to format send to back sorry send to back you can see here if it is more down you can just select this one and you can move it up Control G to group it and reduce the size. You can see here, you can reduce the size something like this. So once this is done, uh, our design is ready. And if you want to change some background, some different pattern fields also, you can do it. So you can go to view, remove the guides. And then you can see here under fill, I'm just going to select the, the main the background, the slide and select the pattern fill. You can see here whichever pattern fill. For example, I want to select this and the foreground color it should be very light color otherwise it will not look good so you can see here small lines visible so like this you can make the design so this is the the end of the certificate design and you can just simply print it for example you cannot just print like this you have to convert to a pdf file for that go to file you can simply see click on save as and you can go to the powerpoint you can see here, here click on this and you need to select the pdf file and click the save button so that the pdf file will be saved and you can give to the printer and you can uh, print it